What is up everybody? I am Phantom Darkness 135 and today's game is Mystery Temple Escape suggested by Mars Striker. Thank you Mars. Really cool one. Uh challenged me a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put my name in here. And uh there is a glitch that will screw you up like it screwed me up and uh I'm going to show you how to get past that and get out of this temple. So here's the short little summary of what's going on. We're an archaeologist. We get trapped in here. Let's get out of here. So, the first puzzle I'm going to do is this one. Before we get started, in case you're playing along at home, here's the design you're looking for. I believe it's the Mayan calendar design, if I'm not mistaken. And I forgot what it looked like, so there you go. Now, it might take me a little bit to do this puzzle, since it's one of these. We have to do all the little things, and they all move each other. So, hang tight, and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think the easiest way to do it is to start with the second ring in right here, because that moves that one and the middle one, and then get the middle one in place, and then the outside, and then this one right here. So this one right here, the middle, the outside, and the inside. And for all that effort, we get an axe. Unfortunately, it's apparently not strong enough to break through the door, so we just use it to chop these vines out of the way. And before we leave this screen down here, there's a little statuette that you need to pick up. And go ahead and cut the vines off this door right here. And we're done with the axe. Put the statuette in here, this coffin looking thing. And click on it and it'll turn around to reveal that. Pardon me. And uh, there's a book up here, but the pages are stuck together and it's of no use to us right now. So let's put this circular looking thing in here where it fits. And for some reason the caption says pull out the nail, but that's completely unrelated it's something later in the game anyway the next thing we need to do is look over here by this pot and we get a little trowel we're gonna use that obahiwa to break the cracks first of all and then get in here for a little round object with pointed tip and we're gonna use that on this birdhouse looking thing over here and click on it and we get an eyeball or an eye-shaped object. Use that on here. This will be different for every player. Keep that in mind. So we got the two hills, fireworks, and squares. So keep that in mind best you can. And we'll use it on the left pillar over here. So we had the two roundy thingies and the fireworks and whatever the next one was, I guess. So we get a metal key, not to the door, but to the chest over here. And the chest actually opens really, I thought it would lift up, but I guess it opens like that. And we get a crowbar. And you also want to note very faintly, there's some letters over here. It's, it, well, if you translate it to American letters, it looks like W, E, O, V, and a delta. I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know any of the other ones, even though I d did take a lot of math classes. But... I've forgotten them, and so I'm just going to remember it by remembering the word we we ovo. So yeah, that's that's what we're all about here. All right, so the crowbar we're going to use on this nail at the bottom of the birdhouse looking thing, and we pull it out. Now the we ovo thing is the source of the glitch. Now it would have you believe that you go west, east, south, north, and then down to Delta right here. However, for some reason, the, num the last two numbers are switched, so we actually need to do we, or no, it goes like this, we, V, Omega, and then Delta. Alright, so if we look at the ground, we get this little star thing, so it should be 8, 10, see the V up there, 8, 10, 29, 21, 16, I believe that's right. 8, 10, 21, 29, 16. No, I did backwards. 29, 21, 16. And it should be 21, 29, but for some reason the game doesn't take it if you do that. So, we got the star thing. We're going to put it in this tombstone looking thing over here. And we got a page as well, which we'll use on the book. And it will get like a little outline on there. You use the nail, and you'll get the cross. 
button that goes up here above the original puzzle we did and oh we need to click on it one more time we get the crescent shaped object I'm gonna take that over place it in here click on the cross get the key and that is our ticket out of here ladies and gentlemen so besides congratulations we're success so besides that little glitch uh, it's actually a really fun game really challenged me a lot I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope I helped you in some way until next time everybody I am Phantom Darkness 135 I am out of here. See you guys next time.